Hi, everyone. Um, we are terror beasts. So what is a terror beast? So imagine Tamagotchi plus understanding what the food you eat and the carbon footprint it provides. So it's an education app as well as a gaming app as well as making it real every day. So why? So the protein choices that you make are actually very significant. So depending on whether you eat beef or chicken or soy, it really creates um, it really creates, uh, car it really impacts what your carbon footprint is. So now we're gonna turn it over and do the demo. Okay, so um, we have built a um, iPhone app. Um, so anybody had Tamagotchi when they're young? Yay! All right, Laura doesn't know because she's too young. <laughs> so basically, Tamagotchi is a digital pet um, that you can um, grow. And in this case, we're going to grow it by feeding the food that you eat um, by taking a photo of it. And so this is the screen. And then everybody has their own little tarabies and it's hatching. And then hi! <laughs> Yay! So, <laughs> say hi to your therapist. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, it's gonna hang around and when it's about meal time, it's gonna say it's hungry because it knows you're eating and it wants to eat too. So, you can feed it by taking a photo of your food. So, let's see how we can do it. And we can do it by clicking the little button here. Right. And so, we're having lentil soup. And so it's gonna come and eat the lentil soup with you. <laughs> and so in this case, it figures out that um, lentil soup has a 54 carbon index footprint. Um, so it's really good, actually. So let's feed the salmon this time. And let's see what the salmon is gonna be. Okay. Um, hopefully it's good. Oh, it's 1,200 B. This is really high. I mean, it's really healthy, but it's really high. So it's not good. What's happening? <gasps> it grew even more. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Right, so I'll do take you through how it evolves. So it evolves by feeding the food that you eat, you know, by sending a photo. So it go from egg to baby, and then based on how much carbon footprint your food is, it can turn into three different paths, and then furthermore, it can grow to six different paths based on if it's a meat or, veg your veg meat or vegetarian. And so team is gonna talk, um, uh, Ava's gonna talk about uh, analytics. So we'll have different analytics, and what we wanted to do is, we, s we saw a lot of stats around countries versus cities, versus, um, and then versus your friends, so that's some of the analytics that we'll provide to users. So how, Tim? Yeah. So, so far so good, right? It sounds fun, and how we do that? One big difference between the regular video games and therapies is that we are actually putting the data from you, yes, you, the players. So you know everyone loves selfies, right? Taking photos of your food, lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever. So we make use of that data and pass it to clarify and also put the data, say the score uh, of the carbon footprint from it low carbon. And we use all this information to determine which uh, monster you will get or terror beast. So here is a quick demo how it do it say on the back end. So basically okay. you're gonna Yep. Do you need some salmon? Oh no, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how we do is that you can choose whatever you have for dinner, lunch, and then we pass it we are uploading to the uh, clarify server and then we put out the information okay. from there so that you will know how good or bad it is to the environment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we will eventually add in uh, um, some social media social so media. that we can use the hashtag instead of taking pictures so we'll put the information automatically from all sources. It's easier for you to use it in the future. Mm -hmm. so Q&A, thank you. <laughs> So you guys, in my mind, are missing like the one big major, thank you, input source, uh, MyFitnessPal. I would love to see you guys in here. So I'm an awful cook, and anything I, anything I cook is going to come out looking nothing like what it's supposed to. So I, I worry that an AI algorithm based on visual will struggle. Uh, and that's operator error, but that's fine. Um, lo I, well, I love this dashboard, by the way. 
Um, and so I'd love to see you guys integrate with my fitness pal because you get a more granular input, but then you have someone else taking a lot of the pressure of the back end off of you guys and a lot of the pressure of the identification off. They've already figured that out, but it just pulls that in automatically and, and lets you guys kind of do your work on the, on the fun side of it. So um, think about that. I love the idea. I mean, it's something we talked about, which is we wanted to add recipes eventually and nutritional stats and steps, but in, for, in terms of beta, like this is, but I love the idea. It's great. Yeah. Thank you. I, just, oh, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. I, I was just going to say, I think in this, in this context, like simple is, is way better, you know, than trying to add in a bunch of, a bunch of additional features. The dashboard to me, and this is, this is getting into the weeds, but the dashboard to me seems to kind of break the experience from the Tamagotchi like experience of like raising the, raising the, you know, the, the animal. Um, anyway, something to think about as you continue to iterate on this. Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, we have some other ideas like the leaderboard for the world. Say, for example, we can launch some challenges uh, around the world, like see which city is the the best to do it. Say, in terms of uh, having dinner, lunch, and how they do uh, to impact the, the environments. Is it New York City good or bad eating pizza? Actually, pizza is not that bad in terms of say, <laughs> yeah, surprisingly. So we we can do that, and it's more involving. It's, it can become a, like a uh, social phenomenon, you know what I mean? So that everyone can enjoy easy. Everyone has a smartphone nowadays. It, you know, another idea would be, it would be really cool if we could kind of do a geotagged version of, of the game. For example, um, if we're thinking about the carbon footprint, you know, transportation, we never, you know, think about like uh, packaging things, like how they contribute uh, to that. Um, so if you're eating salmon in, I don't know, um, you know, uh, Seattle versus if you're eating salmon in, uh, in the middle of the country, uh, y the, the numbers could change. So it'd be cool to kind of integrate that as well. Um, there is a struggle between like informing and just keeping it simple as a game too, but I, I appreciate that, that you incorporated both in it. And I think the little devil guy is so cute. I'm, I'm, I would eat the worst food just to get that guy at the end. So, but he's adorable. Yeah. Well, apparently the worst food has the best for right, well, I meant like the worst carbon footprint just to get the little oh, dude. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So cute. But yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you. Danger. Right. <laughs> so, uh, so first thing is you guys should team up with uh, Gas Genie, right? And get some augmented reality in there so people can get to choose their products, right? That'd be awesome. Um, I love this. Uh, you, s you mentioned Eat Low Carbon was the, the site. Where do they get their data from? Are they with a, a affiliated with an NGO? Yeah, there's a huge organization that's uh, behind the data. That mm -hmm. All they do is collect data and update the... Because uh, uh, I know the Environmental Working Group has done studies in the past, and I'm, I'm not sure how much they do with data sources or anything like that and what they provide, but I was just curious where that, that data came from. I think they're affiliated with Bon Appetit. And they look at the eight um, car like eight greenhouse gases, and do a like CO2 emissions, um, like equivalent emissions calculation. So we can definitely, I would love to partner with them more. That's awesome. And last thing is just a suggestion. Um, the characters are so adorable. Um, I would love to have them as like stickers that I could put on my pictures yes. on like Instagram or whatever. <laughs> Who, who was the artist for that? Cause, oh, beautiful. So cute. Yeah, yeah. So cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.